Next up, we have Marcelo. Big round for Marcelo, everybody. So, quick question: What is your favorite, uh, one of your favorite childhood memories? Whoa, well, I had so many. It's cool. Yeah, it was walking in the park. Walking in the park. Father, right on. Yeah. Father, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. What about your favorite childhood toy? My favorite childhood toy, an Atari. Just oh, a 2600. Yeah. 5200. Sorry, just, this, this delivers the age right. <laughs> Well, I'm Marcelo Mahalkas, and I will talk about risk in DevOps implementation. But why risk? Well, implementing DevOps capabilities requires innovation, and there is no innovation without changes. And let's be honest, most of us don't like change because it's uncomfortable and it's risky. So by nature, DevOps implementation requires assuming risk. But what is risk? Risk is the possibility that something bad happens, right? But we apply risk management techniques to avoid, to reduce this possibility of this something very bad to happen. And how we do that? We learn, we study, we read books, we take a certification. And after all of that, we hire a project manager, so we have someone to blame, <laughs> right? But anyway, this topic is very boring, and I only have four minutes now. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about something more interesting. Let's talk about rock climbing. Because what is riskier than rock climbing, right? Well, maybe that deployment, the manual deployment on Friday night, that might be riskier. But let's see what, what we can learn about it. <laughs> anyway, honestly, I never climbed it. But if I start climbing, I will not start with that huge mountain. I would start maybe with an indoor wall, right? A less risky. And maybe, uh, you know, it's like uh, new technical skills. You need to learn. We need to find new source of study. We need to find some expertise and some instructor. And I would hire this guy as an instructor. He's Alex Honnold. He's a professional climber. He's kind of the Jenny King of the climbing. And this is one of his most interesting playgrounds, let's say. This is uh, in Yosemite Park. This is El Capitan. This is huge, it's 3,000 feet high, which is more or less 5.5 times the Washington Monument. This is a big deal. Of course, it's not as scary as your production environment, but <laughs> still, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, Alex already has the record, the speed record of this mountain in less than two hours. And in 2017, he decided to do it once again. But this time, he decided to go free soloing. This means with no equipment, no ropes, no cord, no handles, nothing. And this is captured by this documentary, Free Solo. It sounds pretty scary, right? Imagine, go up without any equipment. Well, if I decide to go there and try to do it, this is not taking risk, this is irresponsible. It's like pushing coach to production without even testing. It's the same thing. But Alex didn't do that out of nothing. He planted a red. He studied more than 30 paths up to the mountain. His work was like kind of a monitoring tool, gathering data, analyzing, and getting to the best and ideal movements. And he was not alone. He had a team. And every member of the team had its own task and responsibilities. And they understand the impact of their actions. Can you imagine the camera man making some excessive noise on an unfortunate time, breaking Alex's concentration? That would be messy. At a certain point, Alex reached the boulder problem. He had two options at this point. He could go through this stretchy karate kick movement that required a lot of several small steps before that, or he could just jump to an edge with just a few inches to grab. Surprisingly, the jump movement was easier to him. But you know, with, not, with, with no equipment, that makes no sense. So Alex, in preparation for that, he also climbed it several times the mountain. And every time he climbed it and he failed any movement, it was an opportunity to learn and to perfect his movements. So even when we are failing, we can improve that. And after all, 
After three hours and 56 minutes, he was on top and alive. Thanks, God. <laughs> so my final call for you is let's also remember to celebrate. Because we plan, we execute, we fail, and we succeed. We learn. So every small step is a victory towards our goal. So I call you, let's take the risk, why not? Let's go and implement our DevOps practice. Because after all, the risk is also the possibility that something awesome happens. Thank you. Great job. Thank you.